Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and today we have an interesting report for DC coming from The Rock and several other DC insiders who are preparing for the next big wave, or as The Rock referred to it as, Saga in the DCEU. That's right, what we first thought was dead with the Flash movie coming out, opening up the multiverse, potentially sending them to the DC universe and leaving the DCEU by his recent installment in that DCEU, Black Adam. Now we know The Rock has been a champion of Black Adam for several years. He says 12 years he's been fighting to get this movie made and he's brought along with him some friends. So we're gonna talk about Black Adam and what exactly the future plans for the DCEU in phase one are. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the other major moving television news updates we have daily here happening on the channel. And you can also check me out on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. Links to both of these are in the description down below. So I do want to issue a spoiler warning for Black Adam. There are a few things we're going to be talking about in today's video that are for sure definite spoilers for the movie. So if you are concerned about any of those spoilers, now's a good chance to click away and you can come check it out after you've seen Black Adam. For the rest of you who do not care whatsoever, let's jump right into it. So shortly you've heard by now since The Rock and Henry Cavill who plays Superman have both talked about Superman showing up at the end of Black Adam. In this moment, we realized, wait a second, what's happening? We thought the DCEU was over. We thought they were going to move on, start a whole new Superman series, and, and we were going to figure out something new after the Flash movie happened. Well, it turns out The Rock had other plans, and he's been pushing very hard for DC to continue the DCEU, and that is exactly what has happened, with Henry Cavill finally making a reappearance as Superman, and not just getting a headless version of Superman, who many argue has been just the biggest disservice to one of the most popular superheroes of all time. Having him show up not only in Shazam, but also in Peacemaker as a silhouette or a headless character, an unidentified individual, it's not a great look for the DCEU. And it's one of the many, 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 many reasons that the DCEU was a huge failure. However, it's not completely over yet. Original thoughts and plans coming from the Warner Brothers studio, coming from DC Studios, was that the Flash movie was going to be a major pivot for the DC universe. That the Flash movie was going to open the multiverse, introduce different characters, and as Jim Lee so eloquently put it at 2019's DC Fandom, it will allow for anybody to be anybody. Any character could exist in any facet, in any combination, throughout the multiverses. And if you were to take a pen and stab it through the universes, that is what the Flash movie was going to do. It was going to open up all of these possibilities and allow for a continuation of the characters that we still sort of enjoyed, while the ones who we don't have anymore, like Cyborg, probably Ezra Miller, Superman, Ben Affleck, and others, are no longer in the picture. But now we have The Rock talking about Phase one. And what exactly does that mean? Well, here's what he had to say. And this does come on The Rock's Twitter, so this is about as true and honest as it gets from the mouth of the source. Saying, this means a lot. Thank you so much. Hashtag Black Adam will serve as our phase one of storytelling in our DC universe. Exciting times for the brand to build up and build out. Now, of course, the first thing anybody wanted to ask him when he mentioned Phase 1 was, well, are you taking a bite out of Marvel's story planning with the phases? And he responded with, I do not think we are going to take any kind of bite out of Marvel. That answer is unequivocally no. Because to me, as we build out the DC Universe, ushering in a new era of the DC Universe, that to me is not my lead foot. It's not our goal to take any bite out of Marvel. What they've done is incredible. What Kevin Feige has done is incredible. And by the way, I love those guys. They're all my friends and they're all largely responsible for the economic drive of our business for almost two decades. We don't want to be Marvel. We want to be DC and how we do things. So that's what I want. I don't want to take a bite out of that apple. I want to grab a new apple and I want to create from there. Now, there are a few things I do want to point out specifically, and with that being that he did actually say DC Universe in his quote, in his tweet. 
Now, all the rumors are talking about the DCEU for one specific reason, Henry Cavill has returned. Now, there was an opportunity with The Rock's movie to start anew, to take Shazam and bring him over into the DC universe, not incorporate him with the DCEU, to have Black Adam be from a completely different universe outside of the DCEU, one of the many multiverse existing universes, and then have a fresh start. That should be phase one. However, now with Henry Cavill making a return and very likely being the exact same Superman from the DCEU, which means to say Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, all the connecting points, and then of course with them doubling down on Shazam being a member of the DCEU, it looks like The Rock hasn't quite given up on that DCEU. So although he does talk about the DC Universe, which inevitably will come with the happening of the Flash movie, the DCEU is also a push that I think they're working on right here. And we have Shazam 2, Aquaman 2, and the Flash movie all coming out, which will be a part of the DCEU storyline and continuing on what we've already gotten up to this point, which without even an argument has been rather rocky. But there's also word that Snyder is returning for a Man of Steel 2 movie. And that's something that will surely have fans very, very excited. Now I know Man of Steel 2 is something we've all been talking about, but how well will it fit in? Knowing that The Rock has plans of his own and very clearly in these statements is spearheading the entire plan for DC. Not only has he created Black Adam, has he gotten Superman back through the face of Henry Cavill, however he is now sitting here making statements for the company. Talking about phase this and the future that and Marvel this and this and we're gonna grab our own Apple. It's a big words to be said from somebody who doesn't actually have any type of powership position within the company. However, he has pushed for a fantastic idea and drive for DC. He obviously is very passionate about this, not only Black Adam, but DC as a whole, and that is something that DC has been lacking. So hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of The Rock's passion, of Black Adam's fire, and we'll be able to have some order, some balance, and as The Rock has said several times, a new era in the DCEU. The hierarchy has changed, and I think all the times that The Rock has been saying this hasn't only been a reference to the superheroes, but maybe also to the leadership at DC Studios. Hopefully we'll get some more answers and explanations, but for now, just be excited for Black Adam. Hopefully you can enjoy it. The critic reviews are sitting at, I think, 55% while I'm recording this video. Um, so hopefully the fans enjoy it a little bit more. But it's always hard to say with critics. It's always hard to say with DC. The expectation is not always where maybe it should be. We have high, high expectations constantly comparing it to its counterpart Marvel, but we do need to appreciate that DC has its own plan as well. So welcome to phase one of the DC universe and its leader, Black Adam, The Rock, return of Henry Cavill, and many, many other great things potentially on the horizon. As an avid DC fan myself, I'll continue to hope and expect the best from DC, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.